All right, so I got this Wacom Intros. Let's do a review. This is a budget display from Wacom and it's $69. I bought it at a discount for $59 and I got it back in 2019. So take this as a long-term review. There are three models, the small with no Bluetooth, the small with Bluetooth and the medium with Bluetooth. This is the small without Bluetooth. So what is this? Well, it's a small plastic pad you connect to your computer via USB and use it to draw, sculpt, 3D model or really anything you can think of. Unlike my previous video, this is not a screen tablet. When unboxing, this is very straightforward. You have your tablet on top in a plastic wrap. I couldn't close it neatly. Under the tablet, you will find the only cable that connects to the tablet here on top to your computer. It's a normal USB cable. It's a very sturdy and durable cable at about 1.5 meters. You also get this rubbery thing for cable management and then you have your pen and that's about it. All right, let's talk about the important stuff. This is an entry-level tablet, so the requirements are low. Low as in Windows 7 OS X 10.11. The active area of the tablet is 15.2 cm by 9.5 cm. That's about 6 inches by 3.7 inches for Americans, which I found kind of small. But to be fair, most people end up drawing in a tiny portion of their tablet. Speaking of, this is three and a half years of use with no mercy. You can see how some of the finishing is starting to wear off. However, the usage quality has remained the same. As for the nibs, your pen comes with a nib already in and three extra nibs inside to change. I had to change mine once in all these years and I tend to press a bit too hard so the nib quality, I would say it's great. Speaking of pens, let's talk about the pen. The pen is great, it's super lightweight and thin. And I kind of like it more than a pro pen too, but that's for another day. This pen comes with two buttons and no eraser. Sorry eraser fans. As for the pressure levels, it has 4096, which is plenty to start off and for casual drawing. Now back to the tablet, you get four express keys you can program to your liking and they can vary between programs. Super useful so you don't have to keep your hand on the keyboard. Unfortunately, this tablet doesn't come with multi-touch, meaning you can't do gestures or pinch to zoom in. This is only for pro models. Another thing is that the tablet doesn't have tilt support. You do, however, get free software. I got Coral Aftershot, Clip Studio Paint Pro and Painter Essentials 7. They are all an extended trial version. Now let's talk about the accuracy. The great thing about not having a screen tablet is not having to worry about parallax. So here is the test I did for fast and slow lines with a ruler and without one. I would say it's pretty accurate. Regarding durability, I would say it's extremely tough. I accidentally sat tea on it, my food, and had a bottle of water explode on it. I'm not recreating that. And it's surprisingly still alive. Except for the anti-slider thing is here. Two ended up coming off and I lost one after pasting it back with a safe material. So I kind of pasted the other with a very welcome and recommended materials. Hasn't moved since though. So pretty durable I would say. One very notable thing was the tech support. They were so nice and helpful and I wanted to highlight that. So who is this tablet for? Well, pretty much anyone who wants to start digital art, be it 3D, animation, sculpting, retouching pictures, hell, even teaching. It's an excellent entry-level tablet for people on a budget. Or for someone that just wants to try new things and you are not really sure if you are going to stick with it. You just need a computer and a free USB port. That's it. So let's do some pros and cons. Pros. It's cheap and long-lasting as we have clearly seen. You get some free software, it's easy to install and use, you get good tech support, and it's small and portable if you're one of those people that go to coffee shops to draw or need a tablet to travel. Cons. I had a few driver issues that were quite annoying, but that doesn't really relate to the tablet itself. It's, it was more of a software issue. This model is tiny, as in this is my only regret having bought this. Tiny as in this is my hand and this is the tablet. That doesn't mean it's hard to work with or that it's a lesser tablet, it's just something to keep in mind if you have big hands. I got this one to learn how to draw and it did its job, but I didn't get to do big strokes, so I would probably recommend you go for the medium if you have the chance. I still love it and use it a lot though. This is really my only con, I really really recommend it. I still use it a lot even having the Centic 16. Let me know if there's something you think I missed or disagree with and leave a like and subscribe for good art.